Tonight, the first dueling rallies for the presidency in battleground Georgia. President Biden landing in Atlanta with former President Donald Trump 70 miles away in Rome, his first time in the state since being booked at the Fulton County Jail last August, accused of scheming to overturn the 2020 election. Hello, Georgia. I'm thrilled to be back in Rome. We did very well in Rome. President Biden's Georgia visit coming on the heels of a State of the Union speech supporters hailed as energetic and fiery. The president sitting down today with MSNBC's Jonathan Capehart addressing an unscripted moment in his speech. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing, we have to control the border and a more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. That walk back drawing fire from Trump, who met with the parents of Lake and Riley before his rally. And Biden should be apologizing for apologizing to this killer. Biden launched his general election campaign in Pennsylvania on Friday before turning his attention to Georgia and communities of color getting key endorsements from Asian, Black, and Latino PACs, along with a $30 million commitment to help him win in November. The Biden campaign also releasing a new ad targeting communities of color and young voters in battleground states, taking the issue of his age in stride. Look, I'm not a young guy. That's no secret. But here in Atlanta... Are you registered to vote? Yes. Even as groups like this sorority work to register people for the fall election, the crisis in Gaza fueling a Biden protest vote for Georgia's March 12th primary. I spoke with a state legislator who supports Democratic voters leaving their ballots blank. The ask is really clear. We need to course correct. We need a permanent ceasefire. Still, President Biden buoyed by his speech to Congress that campaign officials say helped generate record single day donations. And voters say showed he's ready to take on Trump. Super energetic, state organized kept delivering punch after punch. Jose, you just heard President Biden reference Lake and Riley in our story. The Trump campaign confirming to NBC News that the parents of Lake and Riley met with the former president backstage before he went on in Rome. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.